Hey, Orange One here. So we are back in the main city by our base. Um, I decided to go up north mostly because I wanted to get some combat. Um, <laughs> oh, actually, there's an ice cream shop. Why don't we go up there? Um, I want to get into a little bit of combat. I feel like it's been a while. And there's also some smashing going on down there, which I wanted to kind of check out. Before we do that, though, let's take out the smoke, the smoker zombie. If it lets me. There we go. And um, I have... I haven't turned off NPC needs just yet. I don't really know why, to be honest. <laughs> um, oh man, he's making me bleed now. Can my friend please help out? Okay, let's... Get the repair nanobots on to stop myself from bleeding. There we go. So also I've installed... Um, the electrical dissipants, I think, uh, mod, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. The one that lets, if you get electrocuted, it gives you some defense. Okay, yeah, we stopped bleeding, good. Man, you're having a hard time hitting that feral. Come on, man. Seriously? Okay, I guess, I mean, I can help out, it's fine. Give you a little help. Man, he's really getting out over ramp. There we go. He got one. And he got a second hit on one, and that pretty much killed that other predator. I believe in you, Harvey. I'm just gonna let you get your hits in. You know, I feel like I feel like a Pokemon master. Like this guy is like my Pokemon. <laughs> eh, that torso got a little hurt. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just kind of curious if I sh look at this right here. Yeah, his bionic power is one. And yeah, if you look here, we, he's got this right here, which I don't think you can get um, much more information about. I wish I could be able to turn these things on. That'd be really nice, but alas, no luck. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of curious about what's getting smashed down here. So I think I might go explore that and then maybe make our way over. Maybe, maybe we could just go pick up some ice cream. It's the apocalypse, right? You gotta enjoy what you can. Oh, you know what I want to do is I want to show you guys his stats. So, um, I did get his cutting up to four, so he should be significantly better with that. I don't know if the piercing, if that's just me reading that book about piercing or what, if like, what's really causing that to go up. I'm gonna be really bad at melee combat myself <laughs> if I let him get all the kills. You know what I should do is I should probably take this off and then wield our um, Jane. Yeah. And then I can get a little bit of melee combat experience as well. What's this? Phone book? Yeah, it's trash. There was some smashing that was going on around here, but I don't know exactly where it was. But we'll find it. It'll be not too hard to find. Usually, they're not too bad. Here we go. See? Easy. Um, so there's something going on down here. I'm going to use my flashlight and take a little peek. Usually a good idea before you actually go down. Oh wow, look at this place. This is pretty nice actually. Um, oh, there's a grabber right there. That's one. I just said I was gonna get some melee myself and then I just totally backed down. Wow, this is like a little techie one. Oh my gosh, this would be such a good find for us if we were like, you know, earlier on in this character. This is insane. Like, look at all this stuff. This is like full on prepper setup down here. And like a good one too. There's so many electrical components. Oh, um,. You know, I also want to point out, I think Harvey, I have kind of figured out his needs. I ended up just, um, if you look at his inventory, I ended up giving him a thing that can hold some water. And I gave him a ton of food as well. But it looks like he ate it all. Um, so it looks like I might need to give him more. I think I gave him like all my cracklings and it looks like he's ate it all. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. The books looks like no, that's particularly amazing. The chemistry set I am tempted by though. I think I'm gonna get that chemistry set. 
Um, just because I think our base needs something to cook with and that would be a good thing for that. What do we have down here? Is this like the kitchen? I kind of want to pick that up, but it's kind of like we don't really need it. So yeah, I think we'll leave. We'll leave this place mostly alone. I am very, very impressed though. This is like... Um, it almost looks like a lab. You know? Uh, what is this? Essential air cooling unit. Yeah. Server. Oh, so there's a server down here, huh? Yeah, this is a pretty cool find. I like that. I like that spot quite a bit. <laughs> you know, actually, that would probably be a, a really nice little man cave down there, actually. You got your server down in your basement. <laughs> uh, there's a few zombies up there. Let's go take care of them. Yeah, I basically want to just do a little bit of fighting. Uh, is that a Kevlar zombie? Those guys can be pretty nasty, actually. Can I get my Jane out? Yeah, I don't think I want to fight him myself. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's get the gun out. We got a corrosive. That definitely needs to go down. And then I'm going to get my Jane back out. I know we're carrying a lot of guns, so we could probably dump one of those, if not both of these, down and be fine. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Just so that we can get a little bit of melee combat with our buddy here. <clears throat> and look at him, he's getting all electrified. I love that. Oh, I didn't make my tea. I was going to make some tea for us. Not like IRL. Like in-game. Oh look, that thing just got pulped, like, from one hit there. God, I love when that happens. And hopefully he starts getting more of that, but I feel like he he's not going to cause much more damage than he's already causing. What's really going to be likely to happen is um, he'll end up, uh, whatchamacallit, just getting more attacks, like more regular hits on, on the enemies. You know? Yeah, come here, Boomer. It's fine. Uh, that Night Stalker might knock us into the car, though. Yeah, that was bad. Sorry. Actually, he didn't even get hurt from that. Oh my gosh. What a beast. I'll take out the Boomer as well. I'll get hit in. 64 damage, 36 minutes. Yeah, like, we do get a respectable amount of damage on these guys. Uh, Geiger counter, I'm just curious if I scan myself. Yeah, I thought the boomers irradiated you, but I could be wrong. Oh look, there's a little, uh, there's a little battery pack there for me. Turn that on. And let's load that battery. And eat it. It's fine. Our, our friend has it covered. Our Pokemon. Oh! Ah, uh, that's annoying. No, Harvey, do not go out there. That guy's gonna shoot you. I need to get my gun. Go back to the gun. Pick up the coil gun. Uh, pick up, actually... What's going on with the other things? Oh, they, they were in my inventory. Okay, just wield that. Get that out. There's a corrosive around up north, I think, that we need to take care of. Oh, he's... oh, there goes our foot rags. You know, that actually wasn't even really providing him any protection, if I'm honest. Uh, where's the corrosive? We're kind of got building between us and the corrosive. Oh, I think I missed the corrosive one. Is he gonna come out towards us, or what? Yeah, he is. That's fine. He can he can hit me with a little bit of acid. I have so much health, it's like not really even a concern. God, look at that. He just like one shot that dude. Amazing. And yeah. 
Am I, oh, I'm warm right now. I just realized that our character is warm. Uh, what body parts are warm? Uh, the legs. The legs are warm. What do I have on my legs? A pair of stockings. Well, we can take the stockings off. <laughs> I forgot that he even had that on us. Is that going to bring my warm levels down, maybe? Ah, the legs are still a little warm. Hmm. I guess we could take off the briefs, but that seems kind of a little strange. Maybe we should just be a little warm. Harvey, you are getting a little um, overwhelmed there. It is a little concerning. That let me just have a look. I think we're in the clear to get the Jane out. Just go ahead and drop it. I'll keep the coil on on us. Oh, are you running away? You're running away? Really? Okay. I guess I'm grabbed now. Thanks, Harvey. Yeah, if if uh, I'm getting grabbed, you're you're gonna be fighting this battle, dude. I don't know what that was. Let's take the weaker one out. Yeah, there we go. Um, we're gonna just fall back a little bit, and then yeah, we can then manage you guys a little bit better. Oh, they're getting my leg pouches. Yeah, we're we're doing fine. Like the two of us meleeing is totally fine. I just need to make sure that we don't get too far away from our gun. Uh, can we get that back on? Yep, cool. Is that hazmat zombie that's gonna just get destroyed in any second now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is I'm feeling pretty dang good about our um our chances of surviving here. Now it's kind of like what's the long term goals is like. I still would like to do more labs. I know that someone was saying that they didn't, that the labs get a little bit repetitive. The only reason I want to do the labs is so I can become a medical mutant. That's like seriously the only reason. And it's kind of been like my goal with this character to be a medical mutant like since the beginning. And it's just kind of not happened. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm just also looking at things. Okay, so the legs are still pretty warm. I think it's all... Hold on, is it our feet as well? No, the feet just have boots on. They're fine. I think it's the fact that we've got this on. And that on. And that on. On the legs. Yeah, the fact that these are both on there at the same time. And, yeah. I think we're gonna need to get rid of the briefs. It feels so weird doing that. It's not even summer. Oh, there's a necromancer. What's the necromancer? Probably want to take you out then. Also, check out all this gas that we're going to have access to. Maybe I should be not drawing the zombies towards the gas station. That doesn't seem like the best idea. Are you running away from them, dude? It's, oh, are you going for the juggernaut? Okay, let's um, let's get our gun out. I think that he's gonna need like a little support here. Hold on, what? Yeah, let's get that put away. We're gonna just hit a couple with the gun. Are you gonna get smashed into the wall there, dude? That's I know that you got like some. Confidence there, but like seriously, not not spice. We'll clear out a little bit of these guys so he can take out the juggernaut in like a fair fight, you know, or at least a fairer fight. I don't know if it's gonna be fair. How are you doing? Yeah, that juggernaut's actually getting wrecked pretty badly. Oh, did he get hit, or uh, is he running away? I think he might be running away. If you are, let me uh, let me give you some confidence. Yeah, I think he was running away. 
The others are getting back up. Okay, yeah, he's, he's, he's falling back a little bit. How's that jug? That juggernaut's about to go down, honestly. And he went flying. It is a little nerve wracking, but I think the juggernaut's not gonna knock him into anything, so I think he's okay. I'll I'll take out a couple of the ones though. He's oh the enemies are bleeding. Uh oh, there's an alarm. I didn't know that the zombies could bleed from weapons. Guess you learn it something new every day, huh? Okay, <laughs> keeps on getting knocked back. How's Harvey doing health-wise? I'm I'm a little bit curious. These guys have to be getting pulped by the damage that I'm doing as well. Uh, if I can shoot the necromancer, I should probably do that. Sorry. Oh no, that thing's next to me. Oh, you're dead. Oh, it looks like he's going for the necromancer. Yeah, go get him, man. Uh, can I... Just stash that back in there. I'll give him a little bit more help. Just because he's getting grabbed so much. Yeah, not good. Slowing him down too much. Maybe the boomer? I don't know. He seems to be running away, but like then he like charges around. I like get very confused by some of the movements that he's doing. I think I'm just gonna go after the necromance. Oh, what is this? There's a, a group coming over from the left as well. No, I, we need to take out this necromancer. I need to stop playing around. Um, get good aim and go auto on him. There we go. Yeah, he's down and he's he's good to go now. So I'm gonna run it a little bit south with my friend and hopefully we can either get out of here or I don't know. Let's get the joint servos on so I can move a little bit faster. Oh no. I think. Yeah, I'm getting disoriented. This is bad. When you can't move how you want to move, that's going to be a problem for you. Can I just get away from all the gun, the like things that are going to explode um, if they blow up? And then I think we've got the adrenaline pump. I think this is an appropriate time to use the adrenaline pump. I'm going to draw as many of them as I can kind of towards me this way. And let's take this off auto, and I think we're just gonna start laying out the law. I think we kinda need to right now. Yeah, we're taking out um, a good chunk of them. That spitter, if they spit at me again, that might be actually a good thing. Because then we could lure some people into this bit. And Night Stalker is, he just won't let up. So yeah, I know that we've got tons of bullets back at the base, but I think we only left ourselves with like 500 or something in the car. So we actually don't have that much. Okay, here we go. This is a good acid streak for me to stand behind and defend. Thank you, Spitter. I will work with that. I saw this from like Vormithrax do this once and I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. You know, oh, I'm throwing up now. Yeah, as long as you guys are stepping into that acid, I think that I'm okay. Because that should hurt you enough for me to be able to just knock you down pretty easily. I'm also hoping that our friend isn't completely over overwhelmed. He seems fine. He's totally fine. He should actually be fighting the zombies that he can see. He should be able to handle them. It doesn't look like he really is being that successful with handling them, so I'll help him out a little bit. He seems to be like, I don't know. Okay, there we go. He is fighting some of them. Just a little support, right? Oh, we're out of mags. Just drop it, it's fine. 
Oh man, there's a lot of corrosives actually all of a sudden here. He's kind of getting ran down by that. I need to remember to pick up that mag. But I also don't want you fighting corrosives if you don't have to. Yeah, he's going to be getting badly hurt by the acid. I can... Okay, he, he killed the crow so good. If I can hit that guy, that should be my goal. Ah. Make sure you got a good shot. There we go. Okay. I just want to make sure that he's not standing on the acid. I think he's good, but... Yeah, I mean, he's kind of hurt from that. That's actually pretty bad. Can I... Man, there's a lot of these corrosive dudes. As long as Harvey doesn't dive out in front of me, I think I got a good shot here. Yeah... Uh, there we go, he's down. Another one should go down pretty soon. As long as they're attacking me and not him, I'm okay because I can use my repair CDM and we'll be totally fine. And there is a spitter that's kind of approaching from a weird angle. I'm going to walk though. I am going to try and get a little bit closer between us. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had an easier way of giving um, Harvey some acid resistance. Because that is going to be a problem for him. Uh, if you want to take out the putrid, go for it, man. Yeah, I think that it's probably in the clear. I just need to now be on top of taking care of the acidic ones while he takes care of the others. Some antibiotics, that's kind of good. I mean, we don't really need them. Yeah, I just need to basically just do that to all of these guys. And I think, you know, while I'm doing that, I bet he ends up doing the same thing to the regular ones. Both of you, yeah, we're not hungry right now by the looks of it. We're not gonna be hungry for a while. Uh, where was the wrestler? Can't really see him. That's fine. I think what I should probably do is do some uh, first aid on our friend. Yeah, why don't we go back into the car? Actually, no, we'll, we'll just make sure these guys are taken care of and then we'll do that. Uh, can I get the Jane back out? Yes, I can. Cool. Oh, he he did get that leg pouch a little bit. That is a shame. Uh, let's just have a look at the corpses. Oh, what's that? That's a sounds like a fancy gun. Um, yeah, there's still tons of them around. Do we have the Shambler? Oh, that's where you're standing. Okay, I'll take care of that because that, that is an acidic one as well. There should be... Um, is that gasoline? No, it's Sludge Trail. Okay, good. I think that there's going to be... Um, what's that? Corrosive Zombie? North. just want to make sure that these uh, these guys don't get back up. Uh, that wrestler. It's, let's let's have a look. See at what happens with this wrestler. Am I in an adrenaline rush? Still, I am. Huh? I would have sworn it would have been the come down by now. Yeah, please don't get smashed into the exploding uh, barrels. Hello, wrestler. Come over here. Oh, there's an acidic zombie. Hold on, hold on. Get that out. Oh. Friend, help me. 
I can't get away. Uh oh, we're gonna be, yeah, we're standing in acid now. Can I please get out of this pile? I'm being held in acid, this is abuse. <laughs> this is, that's like crazy. That's super annoying that they were holding me down the acid there. Um, and there's even more. Get down, Mr. President. Don't run towards this guy, please. You, I know he probably won't, because I think he's got the sense enough that, to know that they're acidic, and that you shouldn't attack them. Um, but it looks like he might be running towards it. Yeah, he's running towards it. Ah, uh, no, he just dived in front of me, so if I took a shot, I'd probably hit him. I wish that, that I could tell him not to block my line of sight like that. Like, that's something that you could communicate with another person, you know? I feel like we just used up, like, 50 of our bullets in this episode, if not more. Uh, there is another corrosive coming from up there. Can I try and get myself between the corrosive and him? I can. Cool. I think I can kill it first. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Yeah, we we only have like 20, 20 rounds left or something right now. Again, I'm sorry about the heart heartbeat. Maybe I'll turn off the heartbeat because I know that it bothers you guys like it bothers me. Uh, no, don't step in the sludge trail. There we go. Okay, it's down. And I'm not sure what else we really should do. I think we need to fall back a little bit. There's a, there's a spitter now coming for us. Seriously. Harvey, why don't you come down to me? Yeah, let's get you out of the out of the fray. I'm curious if I go with the coil gun if I can take these guys out. I'm not sure if we can or not. I think against a spitter, I can. It might take a while. But they actually don't pose that much of a threat, threat as long as you keep your distance. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good to me. Same with the sh shambling one, like, pretty safe. Pretty good episode though for the combat, hey. I thought that was that we did pretty good there. There's a lot of it at least, right? There was a lot of acidic zombies, like an insane amount. Like I didn't didn't think that that would be the case. And there's still a lot of them there. I gotta get back up if I don't if I'm not responsible. And the issue is, is that um, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eat your way to fit physique. <laughs> That's a new one. I don't recognize that name of that book. I'll pick it up though. Probably a good one to have. In the apocalypse? No, we can't pick it up actually. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this pathing. I I remember in old builds they had a hard time with these sludge trails. What is that? It's even in there. I and mean, whatever. It, wait, an engineering hammer. Sounds moderately useful. Yeah, whatever you are, I think we can take you out pretty easily. Where is our friend, though? I I want you to get 
the experience of the combat, not me. Or I think I do. Let me just double check your wounds. Actually, your head is pretty badly damaged. You might need to recover for a while after this. I might need to have him have a day off or two. Come on, get the ethereal. I believe in you. I will coil gun them if I need to. Yeah, I mean, he did lose like 90-something health on his head. And that's like more than what most people have health-wise for a limb. It's pretty insane. Um, I think, though, that's probably pretty good for now. Oh, we're in distracting pain. Yeah, the, the acid has done its damage on both of us, for sure. I'm curious if I talk to him and look at this. Yeah, he's in a good amount of pain right now. Um, let's see, get like the antiseptic and we'll, we'll apply that to him. Um, hold on, that did not go to my inventory. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's, do I have my gun? I do, I do have my gun and my coal gun. Just making sure that we didn't lose that. And I need to make sure that I reload the magazines. Um, let's just reload with what bullets we have available, if it lets me reload. Yeah, cool. Um, oh, I had my flashlight on the entire time. Whoops. In the middle of the day. <laughs> uh, we must be on our adrenaline come down by now. Yeah, I think it's passed. Okay, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.